Hey everyone, it's Game Camilla here, back at you with a sort of like mini video here. <laughs> um, and I kind of when I was coming across this, that I, I kind of realized that a lot of people have been having problems with this this month. So hopefully this helps at least cut down some of your hunt for the bugs that are this month. If you don't know. It's July in the Northern Hemisphere right now at the time of this video, and there is a crap ton of bugs that are in the wild now, and it can make it pretty hard to capture a lot of them. Mainly the the uh, stag beetles, you know, the big gigantic beetles as I call them uh, for this month. A lot of them spawn on palm trees. So a lot of you are probably racking your brain of how to catch these these, these bugs here um, without you know losing your mind and the best way to do it I find is to go to a good old-fashioned method of doing a scorpion or tarantula island ie you go to uh, do a nook miles ticket you go to the island and you do what you would do like if you were to set up for a scorpion or tarantula farming now if you don't know what I'm talking about what that basically means is going to your island in this case, chopping down every tree, chopping down every tree, pulling up every flower, busting every rock to limit your spawns. And from there, um, you get from there you want to position your palm trees. Now let me catch this one here. Boom. There's another one. You're gonna see uh if we're going to sw uh, swap it, you're going to see I've caught quite a collection of bugs here tonight. Quite a collection of bugs. Oh yeah, this works. It takes some time, but it does work and you won't lose your mind doing it. So, so you set your island up just like you normally would uh, for tarantulas and scorpions. Clear out your island, of course. You want to position your palm trees. You usually have four to an island. You want to position them towards the front so you usually have two in the corners like this one this one's in the corner over here and then over here we'll have another one right over here let's just scare this guy off boom and then you want to position the other two that would be in the back corners of your island towards like the middle somewhere near the front but not exactly near the front I would say the middle you see one over there, you see one over here, and from there, you want to go back and forth to basically get your spawns. Now, a um, couple tips here. One of them is how do you go after some of these big giant beetles and stags? Um, you do not want to approach them from the side. You want to approach them from the front. I find I've found for myself that it, it's not a hundred percent you know confirmed, but I just find it better that you approach from the front. The reason being is they seem to be more jumpy when you approach them from the side. Now, when you approach them from the front, you want to go slow. You want to take your time. Uh, for some of the common beetles like this one here, you don't have to be that 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 slow. But a lot of the rare ones. They are very, very jumpy. So you want to take your time. Take your time. Go up close. Don't scare them. Don't scare them. And once you're in range, ram. Get your beetle. Now, yeah, like this stag here. This stag beetle. Um, you know, he's not that jumpy. But I'll show you here. Some of the, like, the horned elephants... Jeez, the, the golden stag, I scared about three of them off before I finally caught one. And that's when I was like trying to figure out what was the best method for them. You want to take your time for them. You got Goliath beetles. A lot of, lot of good rare bugs. And if you're like me, you want to make statues of them. Oh, oh yeah. That's a horned one there. Look at that snaz. <laughs> you you want to you want to get a statue of everything. You you if you're like me, you're a completionist. You want to get a statue of everything. 
I actually already have this guy, but... Take your time, take your time, take your time. Wham. Look at that snaz. He's a he's a bit he's a bit more common too. He's not that bad. It may it will take you some time. This took me to get a bunch of the beetles that I needed tonight. I had like six or seven that I needed. Um it took me probably a period of like three hours, three, four hours. You just wanna be patient. The ones that you don't want, like, you get your fill of them, just scare them off. And keep repeating the process. And you will get your collection. As long as you're patient, you will get your collection of beetles. I don't need this one either. Bye-bye. Anyway, hopefully this helps you guys. If you have any other questions, at, you know, throw a message down below. I can help you out. Any tips and that. But again, this is the best method that I have found to do it. And that is, do like you would do for a tarantula scorpion island. Clear out the trees, clear out the rocks, clear out the flowers, position your palm trees, and be patient and you will get them without pulling your hair out. Anyway guys, that's it. Uh, I stream five days a week. Check out my Tritz channel uh, link below off Mondays and Thursdays. Check out the Discord as well. But with that said guys, Hope you have a wonderful day. I will catch you next time.